Hey everybody, I'm Private Matt, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to effectively play the Medikit in the Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam Expansion Pack. In this video, we'll be going over your class setup, map picks, weapon stats and specifications, medic roles, and as always, multiplayer tips and tactics. Alright, now let's begin with our first section, class setup. When using the Medikit, I would strongly recommend using the XM22 as your primary weapon. For your secondary pistol, it doesn't really matter, experiment with a 2 and determine which one you like best. For your gadget, the only available option is the syringe. For your spec 1, I'd recommend using the extra ammunition upgrade as the XM22 seems to blow by bullets very quickly. And for your spec 2, I'd recommend using magnum ammo to compensate for the XM22's very low damage. And as always, I'd recommend using vehicle armor as your third spec as it makes your vehicle much more resistant to enemy fire. And on our next section, map picks. When playing as the Medikit, the maps that I found myself doing the best on were Rush on Vantage Point, as well as Rush on Kaos on Temple. And that's because those maps have a lot of cover, as well as because those maps have minimal vehicles. Now on our next section, Weapon Specifications, where I'll be giving you the various stats on the Medic-specific guns. Kicking it off here with my personal favorite, the XM22 Light Machine Gun. Now the XM22 has a maximum damage of 16.7, and a minimum damage of 14. It spits out a lightning fast 800 rounds per minute, it has a reload time of 5.74 seconds, and has 200 bullets in its magazine. Now the high rate of fire and the extremely large magazine size make the XM22 a deadly force indeed. Now I find that in the Vietnam Expansion Pack, most medics will be rocking the XM22, and for very good reason. The weapon definitely earns its title as my favorite light machine gun in this expansion. Now on our second medic specific weapon, the M60. The M60 puts out an extremely high damage of 20.2, and a minimum damage of 16.7. The M60 fires 550 rounds per minute, and has a reload time of 5.48 seconds. The weapon also has a magazine size of 100 rounds. At close range, the M60's is beast, and you can expect to kill your enemy in 5 or 6 bullets. Now while the high damage is a big plus to the M60, the high recoil is definitely a drawback. Burst firing is a must for this weapon anywhere beyond about 15 to 20 meters. And now on to our last weapon, the RPK. Now the RPK has similar damage stats to that of the XM22 with the highest damage being 16.7 and the lowest damage being 14. It has a rate of fire of 650 rounds per minute and it also has the lowest reload time of all the LMGs clocked at 3.64 seconds. And like the M60, the RPK has a maximum magazine size of 100 bullets. Now while the RPK is definitely a well balanced weapon, it ranks last as my least favorite LMG. Now on our next section, Medic Rolls. Now in Battlefield Bad Company 2, the Medic is definitely a unique class, with the ability to heal as well as revive teammates. Having a good Medic can mean life or death on the battlefield, and having one around is definitely a good idea. When playing as a Medic, it's a good idea to hang around your teammates, and heal them when needed. And as you saw, you can rack up tons of points just by doing that. As a Medic, you're also able to revive teammates. As a rule of thumb, only revive teammates when the coast is clear. If the friendly has any risk of dying right after he's revived, simply just don't revive him. And as you just saw, the medics like machine guns are pretty effective at taking down enemy helicopters. And now we're on to our last section, multiplayer tips and tactics. Now I find the medics like machine guns are fairly effective at taking down enemy soldiers, but don't expect to be the guy at the very forefront of the battle. When playing the medic kit, it's a very good idea to stay behind your teammates and assist them in killing the enemy. You should be able to provide suppressing fire, all the while keeping your teammates healed and alive. When playing with the LMGs, burst firing is key to accuracy over long ranges. In game modes such as Rush, the medic should always take the flanks. That way you can get a jump on your enemy, as well as support your teammates in arming the bomb. Well that's about it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to give it a like rating, as well as subscribe to my channel to see all my latest content. I'm Private Matt, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Enjoy. You lose.